today at least three things that I learned during the quarantine um, that I might not have learned otherwise. And so um, keep watching. We'll see what happens. Let me show you a winning combination. This vanilla, French vanilla coffee from Dunkin' Donuts with a little bit of sugar-free French vanilla. Mm -mm -mm. Can't beat it. Gotta have you some of that. Probably one of my favorite parts of the day. I mean, it is definitely one of my favorite parts of the day is when this little man wakes up, comes downstairs, it's 6.40, got it, about to get ready to go to work here in a minute, but he comes downstairs and says, good morning. I mean, he's so sweet in the morning, but by the end of the day, he's just rough with me. And he, just, he just hits me, and he wants to fight with me. But right now, he loves on me, and he's so sweet. Isn't it? Love you. Love you. See, he's sweet. We'll see if that continues for the rest of the day. I'm just editing video uh, for the upload today. Talk to you soon. So, uh, just now, getting in my truck to leave for work for the first time in a while. I feel like a brand new human being. Like, I literally felt like this morning when I got up, put my blue jeans on, <laughs> and I, my work shirt. felt like I'm putting on a baseball uniform to go play baseball for the first time. Uh, I'm excited about, it's basically a new chapter. It's like a, I don't know, it's weird, but I'm excited about it and uh, can't wait to share with you guys today at least three things that I learned during the quarantine um, that I might not have learned otherwise. And so um, keep watching, we'll see what happens. So the first of three gifts of quarantine, if there can be such a thing. And listen, I say this uh, knowing that everybody's coming at this quarantine and this whole entire COVID-19 situation differently. Uh, I know, uh, and I'll talk about that as one of the gifts here in a minute, but, uh, you know, I know that people don't see this the same way I do. People didn't experience it the same way I experienced it. Um, but the first gift, if I can call it a gift, is that I got to spend tremendous extended family time with my family, and it was awesome. I got to spend more time with Ezra and Ellie during a week, during every day during the week, um, that I have never had before, except on a va one week vacation or something. Um, and I will never get again, most likely. Um, and so I consider it a gift to have been able to spend that much time with them. And, and the other part of that is I got to spend so much time with my wife and I adore my wife. She is the best. We, I mean, I, I literally enjoyed spending so much time with her. We didn't, we didn't, you know, need to separate or anything. Sure, we needed our space sometimes, but I could spend every single waking minute with her, and I don't think we'd get tired of each other. She may <laughs> answer that differently, but um, I truly enjoyed the the quality family time I got. And again, knowing that not everybody got to do that, I'm just giving you my experience, right? Um, knowing that I'll probably never get that again, hopefully. We don't get shut down like that. Um, and I definitely won't get it again, uh, hopefully again, while my kids are as young as they are. So it's, a, it's in fact, this morning, Ezra cried when I was leaving to go to work. Uh, and, and so that kind of hit me. Like, this has become his new normal for the past six weeks. Um, and, and again, if I wasn't a type 1 diabetic, I, this probably would have never happened in the first place. So there's some... <laughs> You know, it's not all sunshine and rainbows, but I am truly thankful for the time that I got to spend. Anyway. Dang, go see what they, what they Look are. Look at 
Hey, hey, Ezra, turn around and get between Hulk and the four and get your picture made. Get between Hulk and the four. Turn up, look up here, pop dad. Bouncy, bouncy. What are you doing? What are you putting on now? What is that? Lotion. What does that do? It makes your body smell good. It makes your body smell Bubba. good. It don't make your skin feel better and moisturize your skin. No. Brush them, dude. Brush them good. Let's see. How's it going? Good. Get them good. Front, back. Oh, that one's <laughs> good. Yeah. What well, you have your shirt on? Winning is my business. But what do you have underneath there? Workout what do you have? Shirt. Your workout shirt. Why? Why? So I can work out like you. Like me? You want to be like me? Mm -hmm. I love that you want to be like me. I hope I can uh, be great and you can be great because you want to be like me. I love you. Love you. Hey, look. Love you. Love you. My boy. Yep. So, Daddy came home for lunch today. And uh, while I'm here, I'm gonna feed the baby. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm having withdrawals already. I'm gonna feed Ellie some some baby food. Thank you. you want some baby food? Yeah. Get you some baby food. Thank you. you yum yum. Thank you. Hey, you get a watch. Get you some more baby food. That yum yum. Mmm, that yum yum baby food. Is that tasty? The second gift of the quarantine that I realized is just a renewed sense of purpose. Like, without my job, without my work, staying at home every day, I realized that, look, I was reminded that I am more than my job, right? That my purpose is not just to go work a job to provide. My purpose is to inspire and encourage other people through whatever medium that looks like, whether that's Instagram, YouTube, Facebook, uh, talking to you one-on-one, -on -one, through my books, through my podcast, whatever. Um, that's my, that is my purpose. That what, that's what makes me feel alive. And that's what really brought about this whole thing of producing daily content uh, is just this idea of a renewed sense of purpose. And then the third gift of the quarantine is just the, the fact that I don't need to shave. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Um, the third is truly gratitude. Gratitude is that, man, I'm thankful for the life that I get to live in my family from the family time and my renewed sense of purposes. That brings gratitude. I'm thankful for the job that I do have. And it, I was reminded of how thankful I was for it when I didn't have it. Um, I'm thankful that I, my dad and my granddad set up our business, uh, you know, for us to be able to make a living working uh, every day. And, uh, you know, I'm super thankful for that. I'm, I'm also thankful for the first responders, the nurses, the paramedics, the firemen, the policemen, those people who were having to work when so many of us were not. And so uh, it just, it brought, a, 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 I've always been thankful for those people because being a diabetic and having, um, you know, health issues and having to have called 911 before and been in the hospital with nurses and doctors, like I truly appreciated them already. But this just brought on a whole new uh, perspective and a whole new, uh, new side of gratitude for those who were fighting the battle on the front lines while I was getting to enjoy the family time that I had um, off. And again, that's why I say I know some people didn't get to enjoy it the same way I did. Um, and so hopefully um, you guys know if you're, if you're a first responder, if you're a nurse, if you are a doctor, if you are a fireman or a policeman or a paramedic, somebody who is fighting this fight on the front lines, I'm thankful for you. And I think America as a whole is thankful for you too. So last minute earlier today, I decided, why not go to the beach? The beach has opened up, let's go. But so then we started thinking, is it a bad idea? Is it a good idea? 
we have Ellie on a very good schedule, uh, sleeping in her bed, like doing really well. Ezra sleeps in his big boy bed. The, when Ezra was little and we decided to take a beach trip, we really made a, a mistake because we, we, we messed it up. And then when we got home, we didn't go immediately back to the plan. We just let him keep sleeping with us. And so that was kind of the first thought that entered my mind. But the second thought was, look, Usually I would probably say no, but then, and actually I think I said no, didn't I? I told Bo, no, let's, let's don't because we don't want to get out of the rhythm. But then it came back to me. COVID-19 has changed me because it made me think to myself, self, you only have so much time in this world. Like we've been shut in, uh, you know, there's, you got to make the most of every moment is what I'm trying to say. And so we decided, let's just do it. Let's just do it. And He's we'll deal with, me. huh? She said, I'm becoming her. She's real fly by the seat of her pants. And I'm usually not, but I'm becoming well, her. Good. Because here's the deal. Like, they're only going to be this little once. And you know what? It might throw us off our schedule. But when we get back, we'll have, we may have to suffer for a few days. But hey, it's worth it because we're going to the beach. And that's like our happy place. And so that's what we're going to do. Ezra, are you pumped? Ezra, <laughs> Ezra's fixing to watch a movie. Ezra, why are you not pumped? We're going to the, are you he pumped? Is pumped. We're going to the beach. Yeah, he's got a look. He's got uh, an eye. I can he's answer good. that question. He's got his air air uh That's the chick play on. Hey, he's got his uh his AirPod in. It? No, it don't matter. I don't care. He's got his AirPod in. He's fixing to watch a movie. Ellie's back here already asleep. Oh wait, it's not bad. Perfect. So uh anyway, we are uh gonna hit hit this Chick-fil-A up. As is as is our tradition for going on trips. And then we go into the beach. So we'll see you on the next one. It's 11.22. When you saw that coffee video earlier, <laughs> it was about 4.45 or 5 this morning. I'm tired. It's time to go get some sleep. But we finally made it safe and sound. Thank you, Lord. I'll see you guys tomorrow.